Hey, this is Buck Palatus. Thanks for joining me for episode 17 of my Frozen Rimworld playthrough. And um, we're going to crack on with the ancient danger. One thing I have noticed is that the horse, our horse, has been hit again by the mini slugger. So as soon as we're done with the ancient danger, we're going to deal with this mini slugger. We have the smoke launcher now somewhere. So we're going to go and deal with this. Um, this should be very straightforward. Come in from the bottom here. Uh, this can't shoot past here. We're going to come in here. We're going to smoke this area, move up. We're within the minimum range of this. Get right next to here, smoke here, take this out, take that out, take that out. We can shoot it from within the smoke. I don't think that's going to pose a particular problem. Just got to watch out for these hissing and blowing up. That's that's going to be next, because, um, yeah, it's irritating. Okay, now, when I left it here, I was thinking we're just going to stand here and get one of them to open the the um, the crates, probably Paolo, and then we'll just shoot them. I'm thinking I do suffer sometimes from overconfidence. <laughs> and... We've got three, it's got seven people and we got seven caskets, six caskets. So we have enough people here to actually put one person next to each casket and then melee if they come out and potentially uh, mitigate any risks. We've got two melee fighters so we can move them as appropriate. I think that's probably the better move, if I'm being honest. So Shorts is going to go there, Noob's going to go there, Crabtree to there, Bosco to here, Athuja to here, Cowan. Actually, Paolo's going to take that one. Paolo, what are you doing? Yeah, don't need to move anywhere. I'm going to go there. Cowan's going to be like a free floater. I'm going to put him down here, actually. And so Cowan can move to anybody, um, any one of the guys here who don't have a melee weapon, who potentially need some help. Now, Crabtree does actually have a melee weapon herself. So let's go. Let's move them. Let's go and do this. All right. Now, we are in a pitch dark here. This doesn't really belie that, but uh, but we are. But it doesn't affect uh, shooting or anything, so that's a good thing. Uh, tech print skin hardening is going to be really nice, very welcome. Um, I'm pretty sure that you only need one prereq for that. Uh, where's it gone? It's over here somewhere. Skin hardening. You only need one for that, which is great. So as long as you get the fabrication bench, we can then get some skin hardening, which I think is really cool. I know it makes you ugly, but ugly but alive with all your limbs is, uh, is a small price to pay, I think. Anyway, all right, let's do this then. So we are going to get, it doesn't matter who, we're going to get Paolo to open up the Ancient Crypt Sleep Casket. Let's see what happens. Going to be interesting. I don't know what's going to come out of here. Oh, okay. Let's process this. So we've got... Oh, there's a mix of hostiles. we got... So you've got the three Ancient Danger Soldiers. Three of them are not hostile. Four of them are not hostile. We've got Conway, Karth, Judu and Tony are not hostile. But Vlad Vladena and Veli have come out hostile. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I didn't think they'd split like that. But they are, they are the same faction, which is interesting. We can see here they're part of the, the same faction, the Ancient Danger Soldiers. But I guess... Hmm, okay. So what we're going to do is we are not... Do you know what? It doesn't really matter. I was going to say I want to keep them, keep the friendly ones on side, but actually I'm not bothered. What I do need is I need somebody to be a blood bank for me. So let's have a quick look. Karth has come out and he is psychopath, shooting 10, animal 7, medical 10. Hmm, he's actually quite good. I quite like Karth. He's actually pretty good. And these soldiers are always very easy to uh, to capture. Uh, there's not much resistance. Um, what have we got here? Kind and sickly. Okay, shooting 12, medical 6. That's not bad at all. Uh, Tony's making a run for it. Chemical interest. Mm, I'm not bothered about chemical interest, frankly. Chain shotgun. He has got some good armor on, though. Recon armor. Hyperweave t-shirt. That's nice. Very, very nice. Got a nice backpack as well. Okay, well... So I just want to let Tony leave the building. I'm not sure that I do. I want Tony's armor. If we can get Paolo to put Tony down, that'd be super helpful. And yeah, they're going to be hostile, but I'm not at, not actually that bothered. Okay, let's get on with it. Tony, uh, Paolo is going to attack Tony. Um, try to arrest. That works. Do that. Um, Cowan is going to attack eh, Vlad Lena. <laughs> Althusia, when Cowan goes in, is can back up and start shooting. Bosco is going to start shooting. Crabtree is going to attack you. Shorts is going to shoot you. And as for Conway, did I look at Conway? Vlad Conway. Greedy, kind, neurotic. I'm not having anybody greedy. So I'm going to try and arrest him. 100% chance. Beautiful. All right, let's do it. 
So Palo's arrested, Nuba's arrested, that's good. Um, Schultz can't hit a barn door, Crabtree's mashing, Bosco is shooting. Are you shooting or are you... I'm not sure what's going on. Wow. Shooting 16 underground, uh, quite, quite a nice, nice pawn. This is taking way longer than it should. Come on, guys. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Um, okay. Now, Vlad Lena's down. Undergrounder. Shooting 16. Mining 12. That's quite nice. I quite fancy that. Yep. Let's take Stone Skin Glan as well. Ah, that explains a little bit. Oh, that's good. That is good. Right, who has got some medical skills here? We need to patch her up. So, Anthusia, can you stabilise? That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I might keep one of those. Keep one of those alive. Uh, sorry, the casket's undeconstructed just in case. Then we can use them. Can we use them? I don't know. Deconstruct. Can we use these? Not sure. Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, short term, let me just put a door on here to stop everything inside uh, rotting away. Uh, let's just do that very quickly. Do that. Mark these, mark these, a couple of these trees to be chopped down. So, they're going away with the resting. Uh, Shorts, have you got any medical skills? You've got medical four. Okay. What's up with Karth here? Let's process these guys. Death in nine hours. Death in six hours. Uh, you're dead already. That's fine. Uh, let's do that. So we're going to do that. So we're going to do that. They're going to be collected. That's actually quite useful. We'll take the plasteel. Lucifer, we're going to leave for now. Um, we're going to get Cowan to stabilise. Uh, Anthusias on that. Get Cowan to stabilise Judu. And we'll get Schultz to stabilise. Maybe not. Crabtree to stabilise. No. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Maybe they don't have the skills. Bosco to stabilise. Okay, there we go. All right. Move to it, guys. All right, Crabtree, Crabtree is watching for targets. Crabtree can probably go. We do need to take back some components with us, but because um, we have run out completely, which is poor. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll probably keep a couple of these and I'll deconstruct the rest. I'm actually wondering if Crabtree can do that now. How how unhappy are you? A little bit unhappy. Let's do that. It doesn't take long. Oh, we're not getting components out of it, though, so... Maybe we'll come back and do that another day. Crabtree, just, just take that back. That's fine. So, some stabilising going on. That's great. They're taking back the prisoners. They seem to be quite docile and quite happy about it. I want to expand the prison as well, if we can. Make it a bit bigger. Make it a little bit more comfortable. Okay, how are we going here? How are we doing here? Uh, 11 hours. Right, Cowan. Are we rescuing or capturing? How badly do we want Judy? Uh, kind and sickly, shooting 12, medical 6. I see no reason why we don't capture. Okay, we've got to lay on some extra beds. What I might do, I might put out some sleeping bags, um, just to keep them comfortable and happy. Uh, B to install. This is really small in here, isn't it? We can get a couple in here. Uh, and that one. B to install. Beautiful. Now, they're not going to they won't count as being an area that they can actually put them into just yet. So if I just stick down a couple of random sleeping spots just for now, just to show that we have got some spots for them to go into. So Cowan is going to capture. How are we doing with 18 hours? Perfect. Right, Short's just taken back. Uh, rescue. Bosco's on that already. Fine. So Short's, I don't think does hauling. Doesn't do hauling. So just head on back then. How are doing with Vladena here? Seven hours. Okay, Anthusia can steep kind of keep on cracking on with that. Eight hours. Perfect. Right, Anthusia. Capture. There you go. Well, let's get out of here. I'll take some of this. Uh, keep that. Oh, actually, the drugs will keep there. That's all fine. That's all good. Okay. I think we're done. Beautiful. Bosco is... Right. Okay. Let's get another, another one of these things down. Too many people. Um, I'm thinking maybe a quite fancy car though, psychopath. Yeah, let's uh, let's get down a, another 
prison. I can't. They are going to be absolutely rammed in here, aren't they? Okay, build copy. Let's move it all up a little bit. You want to go there? You want to go there? And you're going to go there. Okay, that's that's pretty awful. Okay, boss going. Rescue. Oh no, I meant capture. Hang on, stop. Capture. Beautiful. Off you go. Okay. Uh, what's happened here? Did somebody... Did he drop due to? I didn't, I didn't see what happened. Never mind. What? Anthuja, what are you doing? Oh, that's because I took away the, uh, uh, the, the, the prison slot, wasn't it? There you go. That should fix that. Yeah, it's because I removed this and re-added it. Okay, that's done. Cowan is... Yeah, not great. Alright, so that's the second AD done. Got some interesting stuff from there. Okay, so Noob is done. You can carry on doing that. Uh, Conway, no immediate danger. What do you get a bite from? Just out of interest. Um, where's the log? You'll never know what you got the bite from. Paolo has dropped off his... That's fine. Tony doesn't need... Okay, fine. Actually, Paolo, could you deliver to bedroll? That'd be great. And then deliver that bedroll as well. Awesome. Alright, so these guys are coming back slowly. I need to keep an eye on Cowan. He's really not very happy. Ah, as... Uh... <laughs> yes. Okay, so tattered power, low hemogen, Paolo, 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 Paolo. Power's got low hemogen, yes. Okay. Time to get some hemogen. What's Tony doing? Actually, we need to make, make it uh, pleasant in here. It's 20 degrees inside, so that's fine. I might grab some... Well, how's Conway doing? Little pain and crypto sleep. So he's actually... He's got a sterilising stomach as well. That's interesting. So I think Paolo can do blood feed. Um... Light target, target will lose blood and be horrified, but otherwise be unharmed. Um, okay. Non hemogenic humans. Fine. Let's, let's grab some. Go on in, Paolo. Get some food. Uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome to our colony. They're going to blood feed on you. Resistance zero. Oh, that's interesting. So we're going to convert you straight away. Now, the problem with this, of course, I've noticed, is that because he is. Now, which one is it? Ah, because he's kind, he will come over a lot more quickly. But I'm not sure we want a greedy... I don't think we want a greedy... Uh, another one, another greedy uh, colonist. We might actually keep him, just as a kind of blood bank. So we are... Converting him is fine. Hemogen farm. Perfect. That works. Sorry, mate. Tony, on the other hand, um, Tony is chemical interest, psychically dull. That's fine. So we are going to convert. So his, he is 0, 0.0 as well, but we are going to convert him first before we recruit him. Okie dokes. So is Paolo a bit happy now? Lovely. Is Conway bothered by that particularly? Uh, not massively. He's as bothered about being fed on by a vampire as he's being in the dark, so that's all good. Uh, Bosco, beautiful. Can you flick the switch, please? That'd be awesome. Lovely. Alrighty. Um, so, Karth has been put down. Karth has got has been patched up. Dav. Karth is a psychopath. Who we, so, we want the psychopath, but they are going to be harder to, um, to get over to us. Arconic School. Uncovered Groin. Let's just take a look at... Let's take a look at the Arconic School and see how they fit in with our way of doing things, because getting him converted could be quite difficult. So they like body modding, age reverse, are they dem Oh no, none of it. Oh god, no. We haven't got any of this stuff. This is going to be an issue. We have to get them converted, or we might as well let them go. Or keep them prisoner forever, which I'd rather not do, if I'm being honest, because we've got Conway for that. He's a good character, which is a shame. Okay, let's, um, let's let's try the conversion and see what happens. Meanwhile, Anthusia is really not very happy. So Anthusia, you kind of crack on and do your thing. Vladina is really quite badly bleeding out. Now, what happened to... 
What happened to getting these beds in? That doesn't seem to have happened, does it? Bosco tending to Conway. That's cool. Uh, what's Noob doing? It's Noob cleaning blood. I'd actually rather Noob... That's being done by Enthusia. Okay. I'm thinking Enthusia might get lost on the way because given her food and mood situation, by lost I mean break. She's extremely hungry. Uh, ravenously hungry. I'll tell you what. Anthusia, you eat a meal. Uh, consume simple meal. Noob, where's Noob? Is oh he's patched up the horse. Noob can deal with Vladlina. Okay. Bosco, meanwhile, is turning to Conway. Um, why is Conway getting? It's a yeah. I'm thinking Doctor Care, no medicine. What Bosco can do, however is Bosco, I thought Schultz was doing this. Schultz was going to be delivering the beds, but had to clearly got interrupted. Um, we're delivering to bedroll and... Interesting. Why don't we do the other one? Highly crowded. When you've done that, could you haul the chain shot here? They're not just leaving weapons lying around here. That's a bit silly. Uh, noob, you can also then haul the biocoded assault rifle out of here. Uh, Paolo, can you come back and you can clean the room? No option to clean the room? Can't never do cleaning. No, when you finish, can you clean the room? That'd be great. Lovely. And we'll get rid of that sleeping spot. There you go. Uh, make that make make that medical. Oh yes, there we go. Beautiful. The medical as well. Kind of hard to see what's going on here. Um, Zach. Oh, Zach's got a cool little helmet on. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right, good. Now, so Karth is recovering. And we're going to get rid of that. So you need rescuing now. Can he rescue? Capture. Yes. Get one, little Zach. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Okay, this is getting there. I'm loving it. So it's 20 degrees in here, so it's actually quite warm. That's fine. Medical treatment needed. Cowan. Don't tell me to tame eye off Cowan. Oh, good grief. What's he doing? Oh, Cowan broke, didn't he? That's right. But he's not bleeding too hard, so as soon as he snaps out of it, we'll sort him out. Okay, um, that's the prisoners tended to. But that's suddenly a lot more mouths to feed, which concerns me a little bit. I need to work out what I'm going to do with these prisoners. This, yeah, that's not great, is it? Arconic school. They're not going to want, they're not going to be happy because they haven't um, had their, they haven't had the transhumanist needs met. All of this, they demand age reversal, they demand, you know, other bits and pieces. They want, actually it's only age reversal really that's going to be an issue. Hmm, okay. Now, which one was it? Was it Conway that we're going to use the yeah the blood bank for greedy? So Conway's going to be the blood bank. Um, I'm thinking this is taking forever to, to repair this dude. Has Anthusia not got very good skills? Uh, medical 6. Is she being slowed down by... Oh, it's the gut worms, isn't it? Um, okay. I'll let her finish this, this run, and then we are going to... Right. I think you're going to do something else. Just relax, dude. It's fine. Major break risk anesthesia. Yep, we know. Okay, so I'm thinking they're probably going to do some kind of prison break, which is not ideal. I'm thinking we might, just for the sake of expedience here, just convert Tony over. And we'll kind of suck up... Oh, that's no, a her. And we'll suck up the fact that she's this because I don't think there's anything here that's going to be too clashing with us apart from the age reversal which I think if over the age 25 we almost have a once yearly age of oh right okay how old is she 38 okay so this is going to be going to become an issue at some point chemical interest psychically dull good armor though hmm has she got the biocoded assault rifle no, it's Vlad. 
Karth. Karth has got an infection. Karth is one we want, really. In his torso. Okay, Karth's going to get the good stuff. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring across one of these. Let's have a quick look at Conway. How old is Conway? Conway is 26. Yeah, it's, the same, it's the same issue. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to not convert Tony, because I think that might take too long. Well, we're going to have to feed them anyway, aren't we? So it doesn't really matter. What I am going to do, however, is change the, the bills here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and we got 18, 20, 20, 24. I need 24 meals. Hmm. We'll see. Who converts first? We'll, we'll grab. All right, we need to get this built. Granite wall, come on, let's get this, let's get going with the conversion uh constructing. Cows begin to bother me. Ten hours. It's gotta snap out of it soon. Right. Boom rats are really scary. What to oh, that was... Oh, Cowan dropped her and I forgot to pick her up. Oh, man. That sucks. Okay. That's annoying. She has some quite good kit on her, didn't she? What was she? Kind and sickly. Mm. But the recon armor is what I wanted. Now, if I have a Bloodlust character, they can wear this without any issues. They can wear Tainted. Now, the bigger problem is now I've got Cowan... I got Cowan out in the open, and he got a Manhunter pack. And they're all making a beeline for him. I can't believe Cassandra's done this. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh, uh, okay. What are my options? I can try and arrest him. Does arresting somebody who's mentally broken work? I can't even remember. Uh, let's see... Schultz, 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 Schultz. If I right click on Cowan, yes, 60% chance. So Schultz isn't the right person for it. It's going to have to be someone with good social skills. So it's basically Noob or Paolo. Um, Paolo was cooking. I just messed that up. Can Paolo get to him in time and drag him inside? He could get him into this alcove and then we can kind of mash this and come inside. Oh, I say that. We can't come inside, there is no in... But at least we're in the safe, and then we can just basically knock a hole in the wall and come through that way. That will mess this up. I'll open it to the outside, but that's a smaller concern. I can't remember... I was going to say, I can't remember if they will just knock him down and leave him on the floor. They're not going to eat him, they're just going to down him. So there is that. Boom rats are nasty. I found out the hard way. I think it was on the beach playthrough. Um, they absolutely wrecked a colonist. I think it was Giggles. If I remember correctly, that was awful. So I don't underestimate boom rats anymore. Um, what I'm going to do is I just don't know if I've got the time to get Paolo down. Paolo can do a long jump, some long jumps to get to Cowan, arrest him, but then I have to drag him back slowly. I don't think I can get to him in time. I just don't think I can get to him in time. Well, we have to try, right? So let's get Paolo down to here. Uh, you never know. You never know. Count is no longer wandering in a psychotic state, but he has fallen over. Oh, he's carrying a mini turret all this time. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> okay, well that probably makes it better. I can pick him up and then jump with him. So that is a good thing. Let's hold the door open. Paolo, get down here. Come on, come on. Oh, I can't. Oh, God damn it. I can't go through that because it's... <sighs> okay. That's not brilliant. Um, on, on the plus side, 
He's not bleeding out very hard. So I am thinking... I'm, not, I'm just not going to get around in time. Let's see what we can do. Can I jump with someone I'm carrying? It costs hemogen, five hemogen. All I need to do is get to him and jump once. Oh, this is going to be so close. I've got to try, right? Okay, can I jump with him? Please, please say I can jump with him. Please say I can jump with him. Oh, thank heavens. Right. God, that was worth it, wasn't it? That was worth it. Good grief. Well, let me just uh, make sure I haven't done that. That's going to make a mistake for next time. I think we're in the clear. Is that door going to shut in time? Keep moving. Shut the door, shut the door. Oh, thank heavens. Ooh. Oh, boy. Right. Okay. How many of these things are there? 20. Okay. Well, I think we can pick them off. Um, little by little. I can't be inside for, for them just all hanging about. That's going to be ridiculous. Uh, what we can do is get pow um We can rescue Cowan now. Paolo, rescue. Perfect. Right, we're going to have to change everybody to be... Um, yeah, Paolo inside by the looks of it. Do I have a a, a better zoning here is the question. Uh, where are we with the zones? Expand out of the area. Oops, manage areas. Stay inside. Yes. Okay, let's do that one then. Stay inside. So everyone's going to stay inside. They can come down to here. They can come down to here. It's not until you have a manhunter pack that you realise actually your base isn't quite as clever as you think it is. And there's quite a few gaps that you wish you'd dealt with previously. Um, like, there's no way through to here from here, for instance. That's a very smart bug. Well done. Um, but yeah, okay, there's that. There's no way into here from here, for instance. It's like, okay, that, that's also really clever. Well done. So I'm going to put a door in here, or maybe actually here. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Oh boy. Well, live and learn. Now, in the meantime, this door is being attacked. I don't know how long he's going to keep that up for. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit conscious of feeding so many extra mouths without them being productive. I'm very tempted to keep Conway as a blood bank, and then I'm just going to recruit these guys and see how it goes with their ideology. Um, we've got Psychopath, we've got Undergrounder, and we've got uh, Chemical Edge Psychic Adult. Very good at shooting, very good at shooting, very good, well, good at shooting, but good at intellectual as well. I am probably going to do that. I think with the winter coming, um, with the food we've got, I'm just going to recruit these guys. And we'll leave converting for later. He can be just be the hemogen farm. Okay. Conway's got in bed there, so we're going to assign... I can't assign. Hmm. Why can't I assign that to somebody? That's annoying. That's how I do it. Perfect. Whoops. Hang on. Didn't want to do that. And then if I get rid of Vlad Vladlena's bed. Okay. Are you going to keep eating that? Can you stop eating my metal door? I mean, that's just weird. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Right, so, um, Schultz is blithely unaware of what's going on, so I'm going to make everybody be inside and stay inside. Tick, 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 tick. Alrighty. Schultz, get inside, please. Get inside. Thank you. And that door appears to be held open, which is super not helpful. Okay. Right, gives everybody a chance to uh, think about their life choices, and uh, I'm kind of happy with that. Get one patched up, get these people recruited. Schultz, could you... Oh, Paolo's on it. Okay. Paolo really is everywhere, isn't he? Zack is uh, holding some go juice. Oh dear. Okay. This is probably a good idea to kind of rationalise my, my stockroom. Because um, everything's kind of all over the place. Uh, yeah. See, we can get to this one from the inside, which is good. We just can't get to this one, which is a bit rubbish. So, what we could do is, um, is all our 
stone blocks are on the outside again, aren't they? What, <laughs> what I really need to do is make this a courtyard. Let me just mark that down, shall I? I need to make... Oops. I need to make this a courtyard so that I have access to all my resources, basically. Something like this. The door in here. Like so. And something like that. Our door's actually on the other side. And get rid of that there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Door's being repaired, that's lovely. Um, they're not splitting up very much, are they? I might draw them around if I can. Yeah, they're just kind of doing some insidey stuff here, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I could draw them rounds and just create a firing line and just blow these things up. That's probably what I'm going to do. It's 7 in the morning. Um, I'll wait till, till Crabtree and Cowan are feeling a little bit better. Cowan, I think, has probably got a long way to go, given that he's got um, Blood Loss Extreme. I'm not surprised. Mare 1 is up. Outstanding. Now, the trouble with Mare 1 is that if she wanders into this area, it's going to get shot by this... Actually, that, that reminds me. So therefore, these do not act as line of sight blockers. Oh, that's interesting. I, yeah, that's something to be aware of then when I come up to attack these guys. I'll probably attack from here. I'll smoke smoke up here. So, yeah. Or maybe just come up from here like that. Okay. Ah. So our mech's not being attacked. That's interesting. Oh, boy. Noob has got the plague. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. Plague Minor. Mm, okay, we'll get a noob on the good stuff just to get him ahead of ahead of the game. Noob needs to go and lie down. Rest until healed. Okay. Meanwhile, Palo is trying to recruit Vlad... Eh, Vlad Lena. Is he, is he... How well is he doing? Oh. All right, Mr. Lifter, it looks like you are being shot at by your, your brethren. Um, that's really unideal. We're going to make you go... Uh, to, 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 avoid mechs. Come back. Come back, dude. Man, these things are annoying. Not accurate, just annoying. Yeah, okay, good. Right. Yay, Vlad Lena's come over. Fantastic. Good job. And she's immediately fallen down. Hmm. Well, what we'll do, move you out of the prison, Vladlena. So, Paolo, could you rescue Vladlena? That'd be fantastic. And let's just quickly sort out Vladlena. So, Vladlena is actually really good at undergrounding. Doesn't seem very happy. Uh, childcare, no. Oops, going the other way now because we've got more. Basics, yes. Handling, four. So, that's a big fat no. Cooking, four. Mm, nah. Hunting, absolutely. Uh, growing, yes. Might, well, do you know what? We're going to have you... Not hunting. You're more useful as a miner, quite honestly. Uh, we'll get you mining first. And then... Hunting and mining. And then you can do growing and plant cutting. Not really much good at anything else, but do you know what? We'll have enough for you to be to be going on with. I want to mine this area uh, where possible. Um, conscious of the fact we might get insects, but... We only have this little section here and here with the overhead mountains, so I'm going to try and keep that to a minimum. I want to try and put a prison a prison area in here rather than here. We can use this space for something else. So there we go. I'll bear that in mind. But it looks like Paolo is quite happy. He's got more hemogen, which means he's had another little munch on Conway. Probably. <laughs> I think he has. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's sterilizing stomach is interesting, though. Less... Less food poisoning chance. Can that be removed? Can you remove a stomach? Remove... Ooh, gosh. Okay. That's that's dark. <laughs> that's really dark. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Yes, there we go. So that's all good. We kept the lifter safe, which is great. The lifter is hauling the Militor back. Great. And what we're going to start to do is if we could get these done, we could actually start just stating our own mechs. I'm very much looking forward to this. These one more components, which we actually have here. We've got more components there, so that's that's actually really good. So we can actually build that. The subcoder encode, sub core encoder. We need that to uh, to build more mechs with. So we need steel and components. We have the components for that. The steel is all held here. S mm. 
So we can't reach out and get that, unfortunately. We could reach out and grab it and come back in. Just be a little bit sneaky beaky. I'm tempted to do that. I think it's worth the risk. <laughs> Stay inside. Hang on. Sneaky beaky. Let's get, let's get some let's get some some metal. I think that that's fine. I think we'll be okay with that. Famous last words. Right, as I said, I'm done. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back as soon as I can with another one. But in the meantime, you do take care of yourself. I'll catch you on the next one. This is Bug, pulling the plug.